welcome to Rhonda Said. I'm Rhonda. I love saying things. Hoping you're having a great day or day of your choice. Please like, comment, subscribe, and ring the bell down below. I'd really appreciate it. I like how I ring the bell. Ring my bell. Ring my bell. Ding dong. Ding 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 ding. ding. <laughs> I do not have my little flipper in today. <clears throat> I didn't feel like lisping. So we're going to do the son's front tooth. Uh, if you didn't know, my tooth broke off in the middle of a video trying out some food for a sponsor and it just broke. And that happens when you get old, sometimes your teeth just break. So uh, I'm in the process of getting a partial made so that way I will have a permanent replacement tooth. And uh, that will be very exciting when that happens. Enough about that. You're not here to hear about my tooth journey, or are you? Do you have a dental fetish? Perhaps. Maybe not. But I'm talking about the Electric Palette from Melt Cosmetics. It's the newest palette that they have out. Look at that packaging. It, that is so psychedelic. Unlike this color story, it is not psychedelic, but it is very beautiful, and I'm really excited about it because it looks very wearable. And I like wearable colors. And you can make a lot of different color stories with this. And I've got some magic swatches. Not the whole palette because it's a lot of colors. So I did just a few magic swatches. So three, two, one. Bam! Some magic swatches. Look how pretty that is. It's beautiful. Let's use a moist wet wipe here. A little Neutrogena makeup remover. Bam! Just like new. Brand new and spanking fun. <clears throat> if you think spanking is fun, then enjoy what I do to my eyes. Because I have hooded eyes. I like to do a little hooded eye tutorial for you guys. And I'm going to start with something in the crease. And it's going to be this color called Bang. It's very pigmented. A little kick up. Melt palettes are some of my favorite. I've got more melt palettes. Melt and Jeffree Star probably have the most palettes if you don't count ColourPop. So I have a lot of melt palettes and I'm a huge fan, even though they have had some hit and miss formulas. For the most part, it's a hit. And that is really beautiful. This bang, 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 bang out my crease color. It's very, very pretty and I'm very excited about it. And now I get to figure out how I want to do my look. I can do something great with this head trip orange and this magic mush green. That would be pretty psychedelic. And then this is strawberry fields. Saturn, Vang, Far Out Reefer, Galactic Love, Pseudo, Blue Heart, Blue Heaven, and Magic Mush. I think I'm going to go with Head Trip. It is also very pigmented. And it goes well. It blends in really nicely with Vang. I'm just trying to make that shimmer shine. Make this head trip shimmer shine like a new penny. Blend it into bang. I took that pretty far in. And that is really cool looking. I could just do this magic mush and then, let's see, I'm going to put it on my finger. Bam, that was like electric. Put it in the middle and blend it out. That looks good. That looks really good. A little more. That 
really pops. It pops a lot. So let's get it off my fingertips. And now I'm gonna go in with Saturn, which is a beautiful little shimmery peach number. It just blends in like nothing, but in a good way. It's like a little light, just like a little light in my corner. I wish it was shinier. It's pretty shiny, but it's real subtle compared to having orange and neon green on your eyelid. I need a little depth in the outside corner, so I'm gonna go in with Reefer, this chocolatey brown. I'm trying to figure out what kind of brush to use. I'm gonna use this brush, this Sonya G brush. It's a Builder Pro. A little brown on the brown brush. Just building it out of the corner here. Just going in real light. And it's really adding some depth. That really makes the green and orange pop even more. I'll get a blending brush and soften that up. That looks really cool. Now we're gonna do some black eyeliner with my Stila Stay All Day Double Ended Eyeliner Pen. That's the skinny end. I want the regular end. I love doing liquid eyeliner. I'm really good at it on my face, but not so good on other people's faces. But that adds a whole nother dimension to this look. And this is such a nice black. It's hard to get a good black coverage over a shimmer. And that looks really spendiculous, ridiculous and splendid, splendiculous. And then I'm going to do some mascara with the Idol Mascara from Lancome. And this is a nice mascara. I got it for $15 on the Ulta sale, the 21 Days of Beauty, and I don't think it's worth $30, but I think it's worth $15, for sure. I'm going to have to just one day dive into the pool of false eyelashes. One day. Mascara is the most boring thing to watch me put on in the world. But sometimes people want to see you do the whole thing. Hmm, I feel so pretty. Especially in my camouflage. You can't see me from the neck up. Oh, you can't see me from the neck down because the camouflage. Just kidding. Um, this is a really pretty look. I'm going to use a nude lip, which is number 65 Seductress from Maybelline Super Matte Stay Ink. So the eyes will be the focus.
and that just looks really pretty and this is it this is my try on and some swatches of the electric palette from melt cosmetics and i think it's pretty good so have a great day or day of choice and we'll see you real soon